Okay guys, returning to Kirby is much easier than getting to Dreads. So let's go to the map view. And no, actually the first thing you want to do is get into orbit. And as with any planet, you want to launch and head on the 90 degree vector, which is on my navel pointing down to the bottom. So we go back to the surface, launch off, and I want to make sure that we use all the fuels in the outer tank and after they're used up we can decouple them and we get a much better delta V. And for this one I'm going to bring up the delta V of the spacecraft. You can see we've only got 364 left in the outer tanks. So we can keep an eye on it. Right. Make sure the SAS is on. RCS, we have no RCS on this craft. And I'm going to thrust up and then quickly nose down to the 90 degrees. So, full thrust, and straight towards the ninth degree. You do not have to do a gentle gravity turn because there's no atmosphere on Dres, which means that you, at least I don't think there's an atmosphere. No, there's not. It's just shimmering rocket. Okay, let's kill that velocity. We should be over 10 kilometers, which is what you should do, it is a 10 kilometer orbit. That way you're closer to the planet when you're doing your orbital, your burn for interplanetary space, and you get the best of the Olberth effect. All you need to know about the Olberth effect, to keep it simple, is the closer you are to a planet, the faster you're traveling in your orbit, and that means the less speed you need to increase by to get your interplanetary burn. So I'll leave that at that, and what we'll do is quickly add a maneuver. Not too much. Just want to just get into orbit. And that's only going to cost us 237 meters per second. Now I think we're still a bit low to warp. Yep. So what I'll do, I'll set our spacecraft on the maneuver node and use the physics time acceleration. Quite a handy tool if you haven't got accelerate if you can't accelerate via normal space-time continuum. And this is going to be 23 second burn. So we'll start burning at 10 seconds. Okay. We have the tanks are emptying, we can stage now. And there you go. We're in orbit. Now for planning a return trip. Okay, first things first, go back to map view, zoom out from your from Dres. Now all the planets orbit in an anti-clockwise way so when you view from above so what you want to do is view the planet this way in the opposite direction where it's traveling and what you want to do is lose velocity from the planet from the way the planet is pointing so if i create the maneuver again that's the way the planet's moving you want 45 degrees roughly by here add maneuver and I think the ejection velocity is only 150, 160 meters per second. Yeah, that'll do. And if I zoom out, that's all you want. And now because we're throttling away in the opposite direction that the plant is going, that's going to reduce the orbit height and bring us closer to Kirby. But again, we got to do things like if I set Kirby as a target, change our angle, our uh, inclination of the planet. So that will be next. However, we've got this maneuver to do first. So if again, I go to that maneuver and this time here, we should be able to fast forward to our maneuver. Okay, so now that the burn is complete, if we can back to map mode, zoom out, 
And here we have the we have the descending node and the ascending node. Now, which one's going to be quickest? I click four years to that way side, and I click on here. How long is that? One year to this side. So we're heading in this direction. Now, if we add a mover directly on the ascend descending node and use the app vector. Let's get rid of the Kerbal Engineer. What you're watching, what you're looking for again is for the Ascendant and Descendant node to swap out. If you want Fine Control, again use the mouse wheel over the nodes and then twiddle up and down. <laughs> and a little bit fine this is, but if you do it right you should get about zero. Hey presto, we can transfer to our next orbit. Okay, again though, I suggest you just fast forward to Sphere of Influence Change because that is going, if you go too fast through your Sphere of Influence, you are going to mess up your orbit because the calculations are not going to be correct within the game. <laughs> And hey presto, we're out. Okay, let's go to our maneuver and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so now that our inclination burn is done, what we have to do is return to curving. So make sure you've got curving as a target. And what you want to do is create a maneuver node just in front of your spacecraft and pull on the retrograde to reduce your orbit height. Just until you come towards curving. Oh, and when you get the closest approach vectors, markers, change your orbit. Oh, and we have an intercept to it much and as you can see this is going to take 1562 meters per second now if I check Kerbal Engineer we have just enough to do this burn only just enough however to make sure that we're going to return properly click on Kerbal focus view and zoom in now you see we're going to pass by Kerbal by a large margin so again get your maneuver node up and Use the mouse wheel to play with the plus and minus until you get well got high over there. Let's play with the inclination and then just basically play with it until you get an intercept. What have you got here? Okay, we've got an intercept that hopefully will work for us. We still got just enough delta V. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is not the most efficient way. This is just the easiest way. So therefore I engineered this with just enough delta V by accident, not on purpose. So let's see if we can get this returned. If we can't, then this is going to be hilarious for a tutorial video. So I'll be back after we've done this burn. So I'm going to have to do this burn correct, otherwise we will not be returning. Well, if you're like me and you have burnt your burn, and you find you're going to escape the planet, oh, don't worry, there is one thing you can do. And that is, if we go back to our ship, create a maneuver node, down by here. Add a maneuver node, close to the planet that we're going to intercept. Again, yeah, focus the view on the curving. And we should be able to use the radial to get our intercept with the planet. And it'll take very little delta V. So again, let's fast forward to this and try again. 
Now I have to mention by here that correction burns aren't bad. In fact, NASA do them all the time. So if you find you have to do a lot of correction burns, don't worry because you're not the only ones. Even the professionals have to do this. Right, this is gonna be a very tiny burn. Oh, too much. In fact, we'll check to see what we've got. And we've got an intercept with a planet. Now, I have to mention by here, one thing I forgot to do with this rocket, and that is add RCS fuel onto it. If we add RCS, we can do very fine adjustments and not have to worry too much. Like again, we're here. Okay, that looks good. We'll stick with that and we'll come to the atmosphere. And either our Kerbal will die a horrible death, or he will survive. However, if he dies, that'll be hilarious. Very hilarious. So I'll warp to here, and I'll see you when we enter the atmosphere. Well, here we are, guys, at the end of the mission. We're almost home. Our Kerbal Jebediah is, can't wait, is expecting a hero's welcome, or a hero's bury, or cremation, I suppose you could call it. Anyway, let's do the last thing. Stage. That will go off before us. Let's check the map to make sure that we're not going to miss the atmosphere from that staging. And no, we're going to hit the planet. So let's go ahead and fast forward. So I'll warp here. And we could come down to the 70 kilometer atmosphere. And we're in the atmosphere. Now make sure that your probe is pointing retrograde so we can enter the atmosphere. And then once you're in the atmosphere, you can disengage the SAS. And hopefully. We haven't got too much of a steep decline into the orbit that we will survive. And let's keep an eye on the ablator. We're overheating. We're in the red. Slowing down now. <laughs> and we are survived. Ladies and gentlemen, Gerbalots alike, Jebediah will survive this. All we have to do now is it's unsafe to deploy the chute at the moment. Fast forward a bit down, safe to deploy. So we'll deploy the chute. And we'll quickly come down to the surface. Then we'll get Jebediah out so we can float about waiting for the rescue mission. Come and rescue him from the ocean. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get to Dres and back safely. Admittedly, I engineered the rocket with only just enough Delta V for this mission. However, that you can remedy yourself by adding extra tanks or extra, well, go engineering. Show your ingenuity. And... <laughs> we'll show the Kerbals what you're made of. Anyway, I'm Orbator. This is a Dres tutorial. Trust me. I'm an engineer.